When I remember about Boyle Heights, um, I remember many things. One was I could walk down uh, Brooklyn Avenue and uh, know where I was if I was blindfolded by the scents. You could smell the um, bakery on the corner near Soto Street, the Luter's Barbershop across the street, Tanner's Delicatessen. You could smell the pastrami sandwiches walking down the uh, sidewalk, the uh, Everybody's Market near St. Louis Street, where uh, a guy, for a, would, for a nickel, he would stick his dirty hand in the barrel and pull out a uh, pickle for you. Well, I went to uh, Sheridan Street Elementary School, where we had about a thousand kids, then Hollenbeck, and to uh, Roosevelt in um, September of 1952. Um, Graduated in summer of 55. I do remember uh, Mr. Lalane, who was a journalism teacher, and. Uh, um, so glad that I took his journalism class because I was always interested in writing and um, took that class I remember as a junior. As a senior, um, I was uh, one of the editors of the LA Examiner Scholastic Sports page. I was a track editor. I wasn't a very good student the first year and a half of school and I used to get into a lot of trouble because I thought I was funnier than the teacher thought I was, and spent a lot of time in the boys vice principal's office. By the beginning of my senior year, I decided I wanted to run for student body president at the dismay of the principal who thought, how could anybody who's been in the vice principal's office all those years run for student body president and get away with it? And I was elected, and that's, and they had a lot of fun doing that and uh, so that's what I re remember about most about being at Roosevelt my senior year. But the other thing that comes to mind was something that uh, Blaine Crowther, the basketball coach, had told me and he and something that he, he told um, his teams. He said you there's always a way to win, you just have to find it. Well, I went to East LA because I didn't have any money to go anywhere else and wanted to play baseball and was a um, all-conference baseball player at, at East LA uh, on a team that won the conference. I got my undergrad at Cal State LA and um, my master's from the University of Idaho when I was coaching uh, basketball at Boise State. I didn't know initially that I wanted to help people succeed. Um, I knew I wanted to be a coach. Uh, there was an article in Sports Illustrated Magazine about a guy named Bob Cousy who was the um, um, great Boston Celtic guard at that time and um, he had a basketball camp in New Hampshire and wrote to him and told him essentially, I'll help you if you help me. Frank Arnold, the assistant at um, UCLA, recommended me to Boise State to be the coach, to coach up there. And he was recruiting Gavin Smith. And so he thought it would be a nice gesture, and I told him, I want to be a college coach, it's time. I remember going from sixth to first place in three years. They was eligible to go into the uh, national playoffs, which we did, which was very exciting for the town. For us, it was coming to work hard every day and learning fundamentals and coming to play every game with the attitude that you were gonna win. When I retired, I went back to writing at the behest of my sons who, who, uh, who told me I was always telling them stories at the dinner table and I should start writing them, putting it in a book, and, um, which I um, started to do, but then I had an idea for a novel 
and um, my novels, incidentally, are uh, about uh, the underdog. Because I always thought I was an underdog coming out of East LA and had strong feelings about people that were in a similar situation. I've written six novels, and um, the best, although Madness of March was considered the best one, I have another one that is going to be published pretty soon uh, called Dead is Not Enough, Another Mystery. The uh, first book I wrote, Madness of March, was about a coach who took a job where the um, previous coach had disappeared. That book became a bestseller. The um, message I want to leave with the uh, students at Roosevelt High School is anything you believe you can do can be achieved. It's possible. Uh, I've done it. The uh, inductees that are here today have done it. The uh, 39 inductees to the Roosevelt Hall of Fame previous, they uh, have done it. Um, many more people that that are that are not mentioned as as members of the Hall of Fame have done it. Um, we all grew up with nothing. Learned that um, success by the inch is a cinch by the yard is hard. Mm -hmm.